Brits know all too well what the Highlanders can do in cup competitions, and they certainly won't be taking a win for granted. Here is Martin Geisler. There's no problem with the Hearts pitch. Patchy, perhaps, but perfectly playable. Tynecastle may be frost-free, but there's still plenty of potential for slip-ups. Ross County were a Hearts banana skin in the CIS Cup this season. Craig Levine's side went out on penalties up in Dingwall. So, they know just how much the Highlanders love beating the big boys. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be confident, and, and they're very right to be. Yeah, they've already beaten us once, and they'll be thinking that uh, there's an opportunity to, to put the double over on us. Um, and I'm well aware of Neil Cooper's capabilities as a, as a coach. Uh, they'll be well organised, they'll work extremely hard, they'll frustrate us, and, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough match for us. Since that defeat back in September, the sides have experienced contrasting fortunes. County currently second bottom of the first division, while Hearts, in their last five games, have recorded four wins and a draw. That resurgence helped in no small part by fans' favourite Ricardo Fuller. While supporters have come to expect magic from the on-loan Jamaican, his boss is a little further sighted than that. He doesn't care where the goals come from, as long as they come. If it's him or Gary Wales or when they're centre-backs or a midfield player, it doesn't make any difference to me. It's important that we, in a game like this, that we try and get in front. You know, the longer the game goes, the nothing each, the more difficult it becomes and uh, the more frustrated our supporters will, will become. The Cup, of course, holds special memories for the Hearts support. It's almost four years since Jim Jeffries and his team delivered it to Tynecastle. His successor is operating with a different squad and a tighter budget. But the fans can rest assured, no less determination.